Pronwike elders in river states have kicked against the 5th October local government election scheduled to hold in river state tomorrow. Please make sure you share this video. Make sure you share this video. Share this video now. Don't forget to follow Casa TV on Facebook and YouTube. Thank you. Share this video now. Tell us what you think about this video. Are you in support of the local government election scheduled to hold tomorrow in River State? This is to what is happening in our state, River State. Particular reference to the local government elections planned to be held tomorrow. It is unfortunate that all manner of actions are being taken to create tension and insecurity, even against the judgment of the court, that the elections should be put uh, should be postponed, should not be held. As elders of this state, we deem it necessary to also lend our voice to those who are advocating peace in this state and also call our, our sons and daughters to ensure that we do not put the state in a, a manner of insecurity and ensure that the planned local government elections are not held. And at this point, call on our friend and elder, Chief Osage Okocha, SAN, who will read the text of our press conference to you. Thank you very much. I have here in my hand the judgment order of the Federal High Court sitting at Abuja in suit number FHC slash ABJ slash CS slash 987 slash 2024 between the All Progressives Congress, APC, the plaintiff in the matter, against the Independent National Electoral Commission, first defendant, River State Independent Electoral Commission, second defendant, the Attorney General of River State, third defendant, representing, of course, the government of River State. Fourth defendant, the Inspector General of Police. And fifth defendant, defendant the State Security Service, DSS, who were all the defendants in the action. This is the judgment order duly enrolled when the courts had delivered judgment, a final judgment in the said suit on the 30th day of September 2024. The salient parts of the order indicate as follows. One, the first defendant, that is the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, who had no defense to the suit, is duty bound to manage the updating and revising of the register of voters in such a manner as to ensure that continuous registration and updates of the register stops not later than 90 days before the date scheduled for the conduct of local government election in River State, and to only release that part of the register of voters for River State to the second defendant. Second defendant is the River State Independent Electoral Commission for use in the conduct of the local government election in strict conformity and compliance with the mandatory provisions of the law. Two, the first defendant, that is INEC, who withdrew all these defenses in this suit is not entitled to release that part of the National Register of Voters containing a register of voters in River State to the second defendant to be used for conduct of the local government elections as sections 13 
and 20 of the River State Independent Electoral Commission Law number 2 of 2018 has not been strictly complied with. Three, that the fourth and fifth defendants, that is the Inspector General of Police, fourth defendant, the State Security Service, DSS, the fifth defendant, are not entitled to participate in the conduct of illegal and unlawful local government elections in river states or to provide the second and third defendants, that is, State Independent Electoral Commission, RISEC, and the Attorney General of River States as representative of the government of River State with any security protection to conduct the proposed local government elections in River State until the mandatory condition precedents are met or fulfilled. Four, that the first defendant, that is INEC, is herein restrained, whether by itself, itself its agents, servants, privies, etc., from releasing to the second and third defendants, RISEC and the Attorney General of River State, that part of the National Register of Voters containing a register of voters in River State, namely the official register of voters certified by the first defendant, INEC, for use by the second and third defendants for the conduct of local government election in River State, slated for 5th October 2024, until the second and third defendants publish the requisite notice in conformity with the provisions of the law. Five second and third defendants, that is, the, Inspector, the uh, River State Independent National Electoral Commission, and the Attorney General of River State, whether by themselves, their servants, agents, or privies, are restrained from receiving from the first defendant and or using that part of the National Register of Voters containing a register of voters in River State, namely the official register of voters certified by the first defendant, INEC, to conduct local government election in River State, slated for 5th October 2024, until the second and third defendants publish the requisite notice of election in conformity with the mandatory provisions of the law. Six, the fourth and fifth defendants, that is the Inspector General of Police and the State Security Service, their servants, agents, and privies are hereby restrained from providing the second and third defendants with security protection for conduct of the proposed local government election in River State, slated for 5th October 2024. And six, which is a very important one, it is hereby ordered. Seven. Seven. Yes, seven, which is the uh, most important. An order is hereby made, setting aside all acts or things done or purported to have been done by the first to fifth defendants in furtherance of the conduct of the purported local government elections in River State, stated by for the fifth of October 2024, until the mandatory provisions of the law are complied with by the second defendant, which is River State. Independent Electoral Commission. Now, I say that this is perhaps the most important because I've heard it said that, oh, they did not restrain the election from being conducted. This order covers that sophistry, is what I'll call it, that kind of attempt to deflect what the purport and the effect of this particular order is. It clearly makes it clear to all concerned that don't go further with any of the arrangements you've made concerning this election. So I'm surprised that in spite of all this, people seem to be hell-bent on holding an election that has been stated to be not ready yet to be held. So we've come as citizens of River State, concerned citizens of River State, to say that we are law-abiding citizens of this country. 
and River State cannot be an exception. The government of River State is obliged to comply with this order. It is a party in this suit. So is the River State Independent Electoral Commission. And anybody who says anything to the contrary, I think, is preparing grounds that may precipitate a breach of law and order and public peace, public peace in River State of Nigeria. So this is what this order has set out. And it's a judgment order. It's not an interlocutory order. It's not an interim order. Judgment order follows a judgment that has been delivered after a case has been heard on its full merits. And all your rights and liabilities in that regard have been settled. Anybody who is disagreeing with this order should take the proper option, appeal against the order. But until you do so, and until you have set it aside on appeal, you are compelled to obey this order. This is the situation, and I hope that the general public will be made aware of this. Thank you. Republic of Nigeria, you can see the array of very responsible and reasonable reverse men before you. Our interest as elders is to ensure that there is peace in our state, to ensure that this state is governed in line with the rule of law. We have had several misinformation to the public, which has perhaps swayed opinion one way or the other, although in the wrong direction. And part of our responsibility this morning is to put straight some of those crooked records. Firstly, like the Nenet Senior Advocate has told us, is there a restraining order against the local government election that is scheduled for tomorrow? And the categorical answer is yes. The order is explicit that the process and procedure adopted by RISEC is not in compliance with the RISEC law. Therefore, everything they have done is null and void that research should go back and follow due process as enshrined in their law to enable them conduct an election. That is the seventh order that was read out to you. That clearly states that the election for tomorrow should not hold. Now you have also heard some of our leaders in the state talk about compliance with rule of law. I think that this is where it should start. People have brandished the state high court judgment uh, ruling, asking that parties should go ahead with the elections. That ruling is a matter between AAP, River State Governor, Attorney General River State, and RISEC. And what is the interim order that elections should proceed? And that is the ruling that the governor has said that he will obey the one, in his own words, first in hand. Whilst in law, what we know is that the latter ruling supersedes the former. Now, aside that, we are talking about a proper judgment of court where parties have made their case. And I dare say that including representatives of the River State government about the best lawyers you have in this country appeared in this matter and made their case before the court, before the court arrived at a final judgment, restraining RISEC from proceeding with this election, asking them to undergo due process. One of the problems that we face, the governor was in seat, on seat, and we knew when the tenor of local government council will expire. He was called upon to commence process to conduct local government election. Persistently, he refused to. When the time had expired, the River State House of Assembly, in its wisdom, extended the tenure of elected council chairmen. Of course, Nigerians were confused but they were right in law, and that is the position of the uh, laws of this country. The matter went to court. The same Supreme Court judgment that the governor says he is complying with also stated clearly 
that the River State House of Assembly, just like the National Assembly, where the state is unable to conduct election, can extend the tenure of elected council chairman, just as the National Assembly can extend the tenure of the executive arm where there is a state of emergency and we are unable to conduct election. You cannot cherry pick from the same judgment that you are relying on that the Supreme Court says you must have elected council chairman. Also go into that judgment further. Supreme Court says you must have properly elected democratic system in the local government councils. And what the judgment of the Federal High Court is saying is that we are dovetailing towards an improper election. We should take steps to correct this process. Aside that, we have also heard that the judgment from the Federal High Court is one that will not be, should not be relied upon. If you look at the representation on the face of it, you will see the lawyers, like I keep saying. J.B. Daodu was a counsel in this matter. Chief S.T. Horn. Chief Dr. Ogu James Onoja. Ebute S.A.N. Adedayo Adediji S.A.N. They are all lawyers, including other junior lawyers. And on the part of the governor and river state government, Godi Uche, S.A.N. Kanayo Okafo and the retinue of other very senior lawyers all appeared for them. The governor has gone on appeal to set aside this same judgment and ask for a stay of execution, which application was refused. We don't care about voters' register. We are proceeding. Come shine or rain. We also saw the show of shame last night where the governor was out there saying that he was fighting with policemen or chasing policemen that he brought to Risek, staging that drama, making it look as if there is an attempt to, uh, by the police to ensure that election does not take place. Police clearly stated that they are obeying the order of court, which is against them. And actually, it is the function and the job of the Nigerian police to ensure that judgment of court is obeyed. And we want to call on the police. Clearly, you are parties to this case. Police, DSS, and the court has said that this election should not hold. You must, as the law enforcement agency, comply with it. We have also heard that they have gone back to rely on the civil defense to provide security and ensure that they disobey the judgment of court. Let us also call on civil defense and all other paramilitary organizations in this country. Your oath of office, your line of duty is to defend the laws of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Judgment of court is part of our law and you must defend it. And that is why we are calling on the public, please Get the facts straight. We have a judgment of court which says that process is not followed. Election should not hold. Let us also call on Rivers people. Join us to be law abiding. Ensure that you do not partake in any election. We are not unaware that results, whether election holds or not, will be announced. But we cannot partake in that illegality. You can go ahead and continue to dance naked on the streets, but it is not for the entire River State to join you in such a macabre dance. Thank you. Is it only chairman of RISEC?